I love how none of these electrical plugs work. None of those over there work either. Yo, 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 another day, another adventure with your homeboy Jermaine and getting this vlog started off in uh, Gatwick, Gatwick Airport. I don't think there's any airport I've ever been to that I dislike the most, but this airport is just, I don't know, I, it's just very different. Let's just put it like that. Today has been an intense day. I don't even want to talk about my day. Let's just, um, let's just get down to gate 27. We're flying over to Portugal and we'll be in Portugal for very long, but uh, that's pretty much the main event for right now. So anyway, yo, let's get this video started. So this is pretty much how your typical European airport is ran. They keep you in sort of this waiting area next to a lot of uh, shopping and food. And then right when the plane is ready to board, they call you over to the gate. And yeah, you walk over to the flight. There's like a mad rush to get to the gate. There's all these like highs and lows. Like I was rushing to get to the airport. No, no, no. I was rushing to get to Victoria Station. And then I got there and then I was, then I got, then I, then I got to the airport and then I was rushing to get from here to there and then now i'm rushing to get from here to the gate and yeah that's how it's this is how it's going okay over at gate 27 well i guess it's like a way over there looks like the flight hasn't started to board yet so i found a place to charge my macbook and i really really hate these things this is like a sticker that someone put on here to trick people and make you think it's a plug it kind of looks like this one but not exactly the same thing but I need to get a quick charge. Okay, so before I came here, I was in like the main terminal, the, the shopping area and the area where everyone waits. And uh, they, they have these little charging things all over. Did you know you are using one of many free charging zones located within Gatwick? Dude, I walked around the other side for like 10 minutes and I could not find anywhere to charge except for you know starbucks or going inside of a place but then even when i went inside starbucks it was crazy busy because there's so many people plug like charging stuff so at least i get a quick charge really fast before this flight oh my gosh this morning i accidentally bought a bus ticket to go to sunset airport and i'm at godwick airport now so i needed to go to godwick airport i definitely have taken a train from godwick or sunset airport to the city center of london but i don't exactly remember when so i was thinking that i had to take a bus right so i got the wrong bus ticket which was a disaster and it was like basically no one there to help me like there's there's no such thing as like customer service in Europe it's just not it's not a thing so from there there was like 15 pounds or whatever so then I had to get to Gatwick right so I'm waiting in this customer service line and I was talking to this British woman and I was telling her about the disaster that I had yesterday like missing the flight and then I had to get a new flight and then I had to go back and forth to Gatwick to the city center and I was just telling her and she was like hey you know you don't have to take a bus, you can take a train and the train's cheaper than the bus. And I was like, what? There's a train I can take and the train's cheaper than the bus? Like I would much rather be on a freaking train any day of the week than a bus. So from there I ended up taking, not the Gatwick Express, but like the local train. It took maybe 45 minutes to an hour. I can't exactly remember how long it took because we got there really fast. The bus yesterday took more than two hours to get to the airport and it took like, I want to say like two hours and 30 minutes to get back from the airport like i was literally passed out on the bus i was like yo this sucks like this this is so lame if i come back to london i i must fly into heathrow or the city airport i cannot do these like these freaking low budget way out in the middle of nowhere like, this is not even london this is um this is some other place you know it's, it's this is not london city center it takes an hour to get to london so we can't still be in london so how do you call it the london airport i don't know I'm happy because I'm leaving right now. I'm getting ready to go. I guess I can get rid of the, the UK plug in just a few minutes, right? I better get that because I still need that for now. Oh, thanks. Okay, so now it looks like the flight is boarding and it looks like any other flight around here. There's half kids on the flight. Yay! All right, let's, uh, let's get ready to walk over and take off. Bye bye London, bye bye UK. Man, I, I, I'm gonna miss this place. I'm gonna miss this place. This is like the only city I've ever been to in the world where there's so many vegan restaurants that I walk by vegan restaurants and don't even look at the menu because there's so many of them. But I'll be back, I'll be back. 
but it'll be a minute for sure. I'll go some other places next. And uh, up ahead, next. Okay, let's do a famous legroom test. Huh, not much legroom. But I'm not complaining about this. Lots of empty seats. We are flying on a with A321. Yeah, these are pretty cool. It's a really dirty pocket thing. Put this back over here. Yeah, you guys get it. This is what you gotta do. about 35 almost there all right one more flight down this one's over wow it feels good out here it's like no line at all this is like a ghost town there's no one here, I like this feeling. That was super easy and chill. That customs agent definitely took like three or four separate looks at me. What is that, is that some alcohol there? Someone just left some alcohol there? Must be some bad stuff. Welcome to Portugal. If I'm not mistaken, all drugs are like decriminalized here. I'm very, very thankful I don't have to pick up any bags from the carousel. The last place I had to pick up bags from a carousel was like, uh, it was uh, Istanbul, Turkey, and it took forever. Like I was in the airport like an additional hour, but right now I'm just walking straight out of the airport, about to go. No waiting, no waiting. I let go. Oh, wow. What a beautiful night. I'm loving this. Okay, we're not done. Let's take the metro. We got uh, two trains. Here it is. Welcome to Lisbon. Look at that cool little car. And yes, they have lots of scooters here. Oh, there's even bird scooters. Okay, Google Maps is sending me this way. Wow, too many countries, too many cities, too many places. Okay, this is the right way I need to go. I remember this place has hills like San Francisco and uh, lots of people took this cable car because they're smart. This is one big hill. Subway, eat fresh. Oh my gosh, look at this hill guys. And lots of artwork on the walls. Oh wow. 
This place is tagged up for sure. All right, here we go. From the hostel, this place is called the G Spot Party Hostel. Okay, cool. Just got to the hostel, and wow, this place is pretty cool. I've actually stayed here before. The name of this hostel is called the G Spot Hostel. Yeah, and this is a party hostel. It's a pretty, pretty cool place. I just got done doing a live stream video because I just wanted to do a live stream video today because I posted some things on Instagram that happened through the day and I just wanted to share my experience and talk to you guys for a minute. And since I like just like checked in and it's kind of been like a long travel day, I kind of wanted to like just chill out and like hang out for about an hour or so before I get ready to go roam around. But I'm actually gonna go back out and roam around. But that'll be in another video. I think this video is long enough. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching guys. Um, who knows what your homeboy Jermaine will be doing in tomorrow's video. I'll probably be doing something random in Lisbon. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I got going on for now. But anyway, I'm gonna go probably exchange some pounds for euros because this country uses euros. And there's a falafel shop that's about uh, maybe 10 minutes walking. I'm trying to remember, was that like a really good falafel shop or was it just a falafel shop? I'm, I'm thinking it was just a falafel shop. It wasn't like anything to jump up and down for. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to go out and explore Lisbon. Man, this place is really, really cool. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out, y'all.